Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, one of our very common questions I come across is whether to choose DNB or MD radiology. And in this video, I wanted to talk about why I chose DNB radiology as well as uh, some of the benefits and disadvantages of DNB itself. So I got a rank of 1299 and at this rank I was getting MD radiology at peripheral colleges whereas I was getting DNB anywhere including Delhi, Mumbai or Bangalore which were my top three preferences and one of the major reasons I chose DNB was because of the lifestyle because I wanted to be in a tier one city and I didn't want to go to some uh, peripheral place in some other state for three years when I had the option of going, being in a better city. Also, the colleges that I was getting were not very good, especially in terms of radiology uh, because they lacked a proper infrastructure or the equipments required to practice modern radiology. Uh, not just the colleges that I was getting, in fact, most of the colleges all across India, most of the government colleges all across India lack a proper infrastructure to practice modern radiology. Many of these uh, colleges are basically practicing a decade old radiology with uh, very old machines and there's no PACs, no 3 Tesla MRI, very old ultrasound machines. And this is not the case in DNB. You get very good infrastructure and equipment. You get to see the latest advances in radiology. Uh, whereas in government, if a machine breaks down, CT or MRI machine, if it breaks down, it will be down for months. No one will give a shit. And it's, it's pretty bad in some peripheral colleges. So in terms of infrastructure and equipments, DNB is definitely better. No bonds. So before counselling started, I didn't really know there was a compulsory rural bond even through All India Quota. So when I found that out, I was kind of very disheartened and yeah, I didn't want to do uh, some two to three years of rural postings in, in some other state with no resources and nothing. So and there was bond everywhere in almost all of the colleges that I was getting. Uh, and it, it was very ridiculous in some cases, like Rajasthan had 5 years of bond, Assam had 10 years of bond, Maharashtra also had, I think, 1, years, one year of bond at that time. And if you don't want to do the bond, then you'll have to pay a very heavy amount, which is basically not affordable for many people. Like, it can go up to like 50 lakhs, 1 crore, something like that. And yeah, it didn't seem fair. So when I found out that there was no bond in DNB in any of the institutes, it felt like such a boon and I was already uh, kind of inclined towards it when I found that out. I felt like the only thing that MD was offering me was the title, which I really wanted at the time. But the entire thing surrounding it didn't seem fair. Few years earlier, DNB had a very bad reputation because of the passing rates and stuff. But now it's changing. Now more and more people are opting for DNB. And I feel the stigma that was associated with it around five or six years ago is not there anymore. <laughs> DNB is equivalent to MD, except for the fact that you might need one year of extra experience if you want to join as an AP in a medical college later on, which back then I knew I didn't want any way. I didn't want to work in a medical college ultimately, so it didn't matter much to me. Also, people say that MD candidates are preferred a lot over DNB in job interviews and stuff which is not entirely false. I think it happens to some extent in if you if you want to join a medical college because of course they prefer their own candidate candidates and MD in general, but it I have not faced it so far and it's not practically there. I mean, if, if, if at all you're good, 
you're not going to be struggling for a job for sure. Then one more thing that everyone was telling me that DNB exams are really hard and the passing rates are really really low which I would later find out that is pretty damn true and it's a pretty hard exam to pass but I would not say that it's a entirely a bad thing because because of the exams you end up reading a lot and once you do pass the exam you are much well read as compared to your MD counterparts and it does benefit you but yeah there is also a fact that in some subjects the passing rates are really low and especially in subjects like pediatrics or orthopedics where it's it can be a bit unfair also for me i had heard that radiolo radiology is a very academically extensive branch you need to study a lot also dnb was also very gonna be very hard to pass so all these things did scare me and I was rethinking my decision whether to actually go for DNB or not but then I mean it's not as impossible as it seems I did clear the exam in first attempt and it is possible and at least in radiology the passing rate is good enough I wouldn't say it's a it's a very good passing rate like to pass the exam it's much more simpler and easier in MD as compared to DNB because in MD you will have your internal uh, examiners who are there to help you and yeah just that I would say in some subjects it really is a bit unfair and I cannot recommend you to go for DNB without any worries in those few subjects but in radiology yeah you can definitely go for it also the fees is not as high as some of the private colleges I was paying around 1.25 lakhs per annum uh, which is pretty fair if you'll compare it to some of the private colleges and you get good stipend also I was getting around 60,000 in Mumbai and the stipend is more or less around 40 to 60,000 all, all over India again unlike some of the private colleges which can pay very very less so yeah in that aspect if you are confused between going for a private college which you cannot easily afford versus dnb then definitely dnb is a better option now i want to talk about some of the real downsides to dnb and the first one would be lack of a proper curriculum or a structure uh, even if there is a curriculum by NB, it is not followed properly in many of the peripheral uh, DNB institutes. Um, many of these hospitals use the residents as cheap labor and many places are so overworked, so overloaded with work and they just fail to increase the seats where they should. If you are doing DNB from a bad institute, it can be a lot worse than doing the same from a peripheral medical college. And this is something that makes it harder for anyone to recommend DNB blindly. And yeah, that's why whichever institutes you're opting for, try to find out about it as much as possible. It's always better to go there and see for yourself, talk to the residents, how things are there, whether it is toxic or not. Yeah, otherwise can be good. The second point would be exams which are which can be really hard to pass um, especially DNB practicals in few subjects and especially I would say orthopedics and pediatrics where the passing rate is really really low so if you are trying to opt for those subjects then be careful find out about the institutes. Then lack of a college environment or culture. Corporate hospitals can feel a lot more professional and it's definitely a lot more fun to be in a medical college than uh, in DNB because there will be college festivals and there will be so many residents, MBBS students, interns all working together. It's, it's a lot of fun in medical colleges compared to 
corporate hospitals definitely and this is definitely something that i missed during my dnb then the last thing would be lesser hands on in surgical subjects it's not that you don't get any hands on but yeah it's definitely a lot less than government hospitals and it's also not all bad it's not that you don't learn anything you do learn uh, to follow protocols there is a more structured system to patient management compared to government hospitals there is no one to supervise you there is no one to really regulate things on a basic level in government hospitals and also it's a subjective thing if you're interested and if you want to learn then i have seen many consultants would love to give you hands on if you're interested enough then all even in radiology i felt that th- things were a lot more structured and sophisticated in our in my institute as compared to some of the government hospitals our consultants made sure that each and every report that we give is correct and none of our mistakes would go unchecked by anyone whereas in government hospitals there's no one to check you there's no one to uh check each and every report of yours so yeah that can be a big plus point in dnb so yeah those were all the things that i could think of and this is it for this video and see you again next time